this is a fan story. And this is my 30-inch uh, floor or pedestal model, TPI fan. And I found it laying down in the scrap yard that the state and the county use when they find some metal that's laying alongside the road or anything that they use that's, that's uh, not any good anymore. They throw it in this pile. And they gave me permission to uh, go through there. And if I saw anything that I wanted that uh, I could use, I could go ahead and take it. Well, one day I drove down there and here was his fan. So I took it home and plugged it in, turned it on, and the fan blades moved about just as fast as they're moving right now. Well, so I decided, well, I'm going to just see if I can take it apart and tinker with it. Maybe I can get it to run it. Well, I took this cover off right here. It was three screws, you can see there. And underneath, that's where the switch is and some wiring and also a uh, capacitor. That's about as big around as a quarter and maybe two inches long. Well, the problem was it had exploded somehow or for some reason. And uh, the bad part was when it exploded, it was right where uh, all the information, you know, size, capacity, numbers, everything on it, it that's right where it exploded. So I, I had none of that information, so I couldn't go down to Radio Shack or any other uh, industrial supply and, and get a capacitor for it because I didn't know what size. Well, when I called TPI, they told me that they didn't have any of those and uh, they couldn't get any more of them. And the best case scenario was that I could take it to a, uh, a company that works on electrical motors and maybe they could find one, you know, and it just basically they said, throw away our fan and buy a new one. Well, I uh, decided, well, that's not really what I need to do. So I uh, waited a couple weeks and I called back and instead of getting their customer service department, I got a lady in their uh, parts department. And I wasn't even done explaining what I needed when she said, oh yeah, we got a whole box full of those. So uh, I ordered one and $18 later, I get a capacitor in the mail, probably three days. And uh, it was just two little wires, a couple wire nuts. Installed it in about five minutes, put the cover back on, and... All in all, I think that's a pretty good find. I had to spend a little bit of money on it, but that's no big deal. I'm just glad now that it, uh, it's here and uh, I got a fan that works.